great update about Lady Gaga from her manager this week. The superstar ready to get back to work on her new album after that hip injury that we had all heard about canceling her U.S. tour. Where am I right now, though? Inside her Born Brave bus. It's back on the road. It is right here now with us in Times Square, only here on Good Morning America, and spreading a very pas passionate message from Mother Monster. Take a look. Ready, little monsters. Lady Gaga is recovering and working on new music. Gaga's manager says the music maven is doing wonderfully just one month after undergoing surgery, saying, quote, she is doing unbelievable and is ready to get back to work on her new album, Art Pop. Although the songstress is home recovering, the Born Brave bus tour will keep rolling on. Lady Gaga's passion project, the Born This Way Foundation, launched the bus tour to inspire young people to be courageous and accept themselves. She told our Robin Roberts about her idea. Well, I've been, it's an, an organization centered around anti-bullying, and my mom and I are really passionate about that. This is our passion project. In January, Gaga was seen in Washington, D.C. at the official bus tour launch. <laughs> Next stop, New York City's Times Square this weekend. Her manager calls her new music album refreshing, saying, quote, I can't wait for the world to hear her new music and see her come back healthy, strong, and better than ever. Excited fans are eager to hear the new music and to see her. Just and we are so happy to have Dr. Sue Swearer, chair of the Research Advisory Board for the Born This Way Foundation, and Amory Halbert, a member of the Foundation's Youth Advisory Board. We welcome you both to Good Morning America, and thank you so much for bringing the Born Brave bus to us. Well, thank you so much. It's a thrill to be here. We're really excited. It's yes. a thrill. It's a thrill to be a part of this. It's so, it's so important to do. How did you get involved, mm -hmm. Dr. Swear? Mm -hmm. So in 2011, when Lady Gaga and her mom, Cynthia Germanata, started the foundation, they asked if I would be involved in the launch. And I said, great, of course. And then they asked me to be the chair of the research advisory board. And Anne-Marie, how about you? Well, when the Born This Way Foundation was creating their youth advisory board, they were looking for young people who were already activists in their community. And through my organization where I work, The LAMP, um, I was nominated for teaching kids how to deconstruct advertisements and reconstruct them in a positive way. So I applied and I was accepted and I went to the Youth Advisory Board Summit. How big of an impact has Lady Gaga had on the efforts to stop bullying in particular, but also in just cherishing yourself for who you are? Yeah, I mean, it's just been huge. I mean, in terms of the message of accepting individuality and acceptance and giving uh, youth skills and resources to create a kinder, braver world, and just the impact of the foundation in terms of partnering with Viacom, the MacArthur Foundation, uh, the Berkman Center at Harvard, uh, Mozilla. It's just incredible. And the Born Brave bus will be touring around from here. It heads to Chicago. That's later in the month. And we thank you, everybody, Born Brave, and we thank you, Lady Gaga.